Veterans are still killing themselves at an alarming rate. The VA held a rare news conference today and no questions were off limits. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins is live in our newsroom. And Hannah, why the sudden change to be so forthcoming? Guys, they're saying they're here to help and they want people to know about all the resources, everything from the Veterans Crisis Line to an app where you can be anonymous called the PTSD Coach. Oftentimes, shame keeps them from opening up and seeking support. As the daughter of a Vietnam vet, Karen Schoenfeld has seen how war can haunt someone. Today, VA directors said they're making benefit decisions faster, upping telehealth services, expanding hours and staff. On average, vets can get a primary care appointment in less than four days. Wait times for mental health care is five days. That's half the time of the year before. And if it's urgent, they have same-day services. But perhaps the new stat that matters most are the 20 vets a day who take their own lives. The problem really isn't getting that much better. Why haven't we seen a big improvement? Um, one of the real issues with suicidality is people suffering in silence. San Diego's rate is below the national average. Our local VA works with the coroner and reviews what they could have done differently. Schoenfeld has helped thousands of vets and service members, but I asked what it was like to lose a patient. Uh, that's a pretty tough question. She runs the vet center. It's free and there's no wait list. Counselors and psychologists are there to help combat vets and victims of military sexual trauma. When I hear the news that somebody has ended their life, that's... That's a pretty tough place to be. A place she doesn't want to be again. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.